New research in cognition tells us that we need to change our mind about how our minds work. In their book, Made to Stick, Chip and Dan Heath argue that instead of a filing system where we go back and look for things in our mind, our memory works more like a piece of Velcro, hence the Velcro theory of memory. This is a microscopic image of Velcro. Velcro is made up of thousands of tiny loops, as you can see in the blue, and hundreds of hooks, as you can see in the red. The Heaths report that the Velcro theory of memory tells us when we get a new piece of information, we instantly try to relate it to other things we already know. And if we can't find anything, we have to create new loops. In other words, the loops are our prior knowledge and the hooks are the new information coming in. When students already have some loops to hook on to new information, it makes it more likely that they will stick together. When thinking about learning, consider that prior knowledge is represented by thousands of loops and new information coming at students are hooks. So when students have pre-existing loops for that new information to hook onto, it makes it more likely that strong and permanent connections will result, just like when Velcro sticks. We all have intuition as educators about the material that our students are gonna struggle with. One way to help them learn that material better is to engage their prior knowledge loops. So how do you do this? One way is to give them first exposure to the subject matter before they come to class, either through a reading or a lecture video. Then during class time, help students apply what they've learned out of class to really make it stick. And that's the Velcro theory of memory. Mm -hmm.